How's it going, everyone? Maryland here, and last time we returned to the Glacier Palace, or at least that's where we're heading. Um, yeah, because we have to stop the bitter cold. But, meanwhile, back at, uh, Post Town. Ha! Ah, ah, ha! Hey, is it true? Can you really see it? Yeah, it's still far off, but there's no mistake in it. That is no mirage. You're right. It's no mirage. You can see the real Glacier Palace. What does it mean? The Glacier Palace might be coming this way. It, it's coming here. Now that you mention it, it has been getting a bit bigger. So, so it's true? It's just like Broham said. The world is facing destruction. Ah! He was telling the truth. Eek. Hold on a moment. It's not as if the Glacier Palace has actually done anything yet now, is it? It just happens to be drifting this way. Are you serious? The bitter cold is going to destroy the whole world. And that's what's coming right at us. And you're trying to say that all's fine and dandy? Hey, Ducklet, don't get too worked up now. It's true that the bitter cold seems to be getting closer and we don't know what it'll do. But, well... Actually, it's even scarier because we don't know what it'll do. I believe we are in definite danger. How do you all think it will happen? The end of the world, I mean. Will everything just blink out in an instant? Personally, I don't think so. I think perhaps everything will slowly crumble around us. But where will the destruction start from then? Ah! You don't think? Maybe it'll start from right around the bitter cold itself. Then I think's closest to the bitter cold will be the first to go? It is unfortunate, but that does seem to be the most likely course of events. What? That's terrible. We've got to tell everyone. Wait. Just wait one second. Why do you always have to go and make things worse than they are? If you go around panicking and spreading rumors like that, it's not like it's going to help anything, is it? You're only adding to the problem, aren't you? Ah. Sunsparse is exactly right. Oh snap, here comes Swana. Swana! Sinora. You Pokemon, what was all that, oh, we've got to tell everyone nonsense? You just don't know when enough is enough, do you? So the destruction is going to start from the area closest to the bitter cold, eh? You're just making assumptions. You don't know anything. You want to throw everyone into a panic by spreading that nonsense? Wake up already, would you? We've got the future to think about. And we've got to think of the children. Please, think of the children. So how about you all stop acting like such a bunch of twits? We've got work to do. Wow, she really told them. Oh, look at her turn, like, I got my eye on you. Honestly. Thanks, Swana. Of course, Dunsparce. I know you're trying hard, at least, even if no one else is. Don't you give up. Not until the very end. I won't. That's right. I won't give up. We're going to get everyone to believe in the future again. We're going to make everyone believe together. So you and the others better not give up either, Tusks. You've got to destroy that bitter cold. Don't lose to anyone. Go get them, Tusks. Yeah, we're going to go get them. That's what we're going to do. Whoa! The floating glacier palace. And something cool and shiny. And boom! Hey, look. Looks like it worked after all. Is this? It's all covered with ice and you can see the sky outside. It may have changed a bit since last time, but this definitely seems to be the Glacier Palace. We really got here without having to go through a single dungeon! That's crazy! And we even came across the sky! What is with these enter cards, huh? They're unbelievable! They are indeed impressive! To be able to make cards like this, well, if I'm being honest, I'm quite jealous. Well, we aren't dungeon researchers after all, so I know how you feel. But, this is no time for that kind of chit-chat. We made it to the Glacier Palace. That's what matters. Now, we need to get to the Bitter Cold and destroy it. 
We need to keep our focus on that and move forward. Well, wait a sec. It's great that we made it here, of course, but um, what about getting back? How do we get back to paradise? We're way up here in the sky. Don't worry. We should be able to get back again by using Keldeo's enter cards. Uh, oh, really? Well, that's okay then, phew. I was afraid for a second that maybe you guys weren't planning on making it back or something. That's ridiculous. We are absolutely going to return to paradise safe and sound. After all, if we didn't, how would we ever be able to face Dawn Sparse again? Um, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how would we be able to face him if we didn't? I don't know, I'm confused. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. All right, then let's go do this thing. Salamence came from up here, so that means we should assume Muna and the others are also up here somewhere. Do you think they noticed our arrival? Hard to say, but if they haven't, we should use that to our advantage. We'll draw attention if we all travel together in one big group, though. If we split up, we should be able to avoid getting caught by Muna. And if her thugs do find us and chase us, at least they'll have to split their forces. Sounds fair. Let's split into three groups. Espeon and I will stick together. Verizian and Amalga should team up. And finally, Tusks and Broham. Each of our groups will go a different way. Does that sound all right to everyone? Fine with me. Stay safe, everyone. Make sure you don't lose, okay? Let's go, Espeon. Right behind you. We should head out, too. Yeah! Be careful, Tusks and Broham! You all be careful, too! Alright, once we're ready, we ought to head out. Let's give it our all, Tusks! Yeah, it seems like a good idea to go in a different direction, so let's all head into the same cave! Yeah, that's smart. There's no turning back now. The only path leads onward. Ooh, floating crystal. Okay, so, let's see. We're gonna, gonna make sure we have plenty of stuff. Ugh, this dungeon is a pain. If you have extra seeds and stuff, it's not that bad of an idea to keep them in your inventory because you're gonna have to deal with stuff that just gets rid of them. Keeping orbs handy is also a good idea, just in case you run into a uh, monster house, because that just gets really nasty. Uh, this looks like a pretty good setup. I don't need to pick up a bunch of stuff. Except I prop. Well, I'll keep that with. It's no big deal. Okay, so... Wait. Do I have my reunion? Yeah. Okay, let's go. So here we are. Inside the Glacier Palace, the Eastern Spire. Whoa. Oh, why, thank you, PP Restore Skill. And thank you, stairs that are right next to me. <laughs> Easiest floor ever. Looks like we've still got a long way to go. Umbreon. What is it? When we... When Amalga asked you about getting back, why did you tell him? Why did you pretend we could use Caldeo's enter cards to get back? Why did you lie? You played along too, you know. Why are you questioning it now? Well, it wasn't just me. Verizian did too. I just didn't want to make Amalga and the others too afraid of what was coming. Me too. There's your answer. Anyway, we don't know for sure that it was a lie. We just can't verify it. If we had the time to study them, maybe we could find a way to use those enter cards to get back home. But that's just not in the cards for us. Oh, I see what you did there! Right now, we have to find a way to fight the bitter cold. If the world ends, there won't be anything for anyone to return to anyway. Umbreon, I don't know if it's even possible, but... I still want us to make it back. You, me... Everyone else, we all have to make it back, back to paradise. I know, Espeon. Well, that's reassuring. Oh, great, so they were lying to us. Looks like there's no way back after all. Oh, hi there, Crustal. What are you doing just chilling here? Okay, those things are very annoying, I just have to say. And I know I say this about something in every single dungeon. 
But they like to use Bug Bite, and they'll eat up your berries. They'll just nom on them for days. And that gets very frustrating, especially if they start, like, plucking away at your, uh, um, Reviver Seeds, too. And they're not the only thing in here that can use Bug Bite. Yeah, there's something else. Whoa. Yeah, Broham, level 34. Whoa! 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 Oh my goodness. That thing hits so hard. Okay, um... I'll be honest, I don't really blame Broham there, but... Jeez. Gotta watch out for that shell smash. Man. That is insane. Okay, well, I guess I'm... A little weak, but it's all right. Ooh. You know what? I'm gonna do a little bit of dancing. All right, you. Those things can hit pretty hard, too. I guess I'll wait for, uh, yeah, my speed to wear off. Otherwise, I'm gonna leave poor Tusks behind. Whoa! Lots of enemies around, but it looks like they might all be sleeping or something. Should be able to pick up these items. Defense scarf. Whoa! Hey, where'd you come from, pal? Hey, Broham, why don't you... Oh, that's right. You know what? I totally forgot. In the battle against Salamence, I disabled his moves. <laughs> Probably not a good idea. Okay, I'm gonna Dragon Dance really quick. These things can get kind of frustrating as well, because they can hit you from a distance, they can lower your attack, they can use, like, acid armor and stuff, and they can even join your team. Okay, uh, I'm gonna call you Frosty. But yeah, they're kind of interesting. Alright, Frosty. You know what? I'm not really gonna go get that other item. Or am I? Wait, let's just see. What is even over there? Oh, alright, yeah, so that's the sleeping monster thing. It is a, uh, Mandibuzz. What is that? What is that? That's a Lampen, huh? Guess I'll Dragon Dance so I can get over there. So good. Oh, that didn't do very much. Yeah, I should just stick to dual chop. Of course. All right. Now, let's see. Max elixir cool. Oh yeah, you better miss me. I think these things could probably do a lot to either Snivy or um Axe you. These things can also hit pretty darn hard with Psy Shock and stuff. Oh, man. Oh, and Whirlipede. There's another very frustrating Pokemon because it also has um, Bug Bite. Which isn't cool. Plus, it can poison you with Poison Point. Like, if you touch it, it might poison you. Ah, get these things out of here already. You know what? I guess I'll try to fight one of these Mandibuzz. Hopefully this doesn't come back to bite me. <laughs> Nasty Plot's a little scary now. Okay, well, I got a hard box. That's good, I guess. Thankfully, the, uh, the boss monsters, quote-unquote, aren't quite as difficult to defeat anymore. These things have a lot of hit points. And they also may have Sturdy, so it could take more hits than you're thinking to take them out. Okay, let's see. Whoa, then there's these big old bear ticks. They have fairly decent defenses. And, uh, yeah, they are an ice type. There's a lot of ice types around here, but there's also a lot of weird bug things. So after the fifth floor, 
we'll get to see these two. We've come pretty far, haven't we? What? Something on your mind? What? No! I it's nothing! Is that right? That reminds me. You hate me, don't you? <laughs> well, aren't we forward? So getting stuck with me was pretty bad luck for you, I guess. Sorry. What? I, I never said I hate you! Sure, you really rubbed me the wrong way at first. But I kind of got it, after hearing about Keldio and all. And I got to see some of your good side. Like, you really keep it together even when everyone's freaking out. I guess I kind of get it now. Why Dunsparce wanted to be friends with you. No, I don't think you quite get it yet. Oh, well, that's good then. I'm sorry too. I used to just needle you every chance I got. Well, that's a weird way to put it, but okay. Just needling you every chance. <laughs> I've wanted to apologize for a while, but there just never seemed to be a good time. Oh, I don't blame you. Even I used to think, or even I think I used to be an awful excuse for a Pokemon. Well, there's some confidence. So thanks. Thank you for becoming my friend. Ah, sure. Phew, that's a big weight off my mind. Let's give it our all, Verizian. We're going to find that bitter cold and beat it for sure. Yes, we will. You know, Amalga, you're kind of a tough guy, even though you're adorable. That's why I like you. You! What? Something the matter? And shouldn't we be hurrying on to find the bitter cold? Eh, yeah, okay. <laughs> that blushing Amalga. Oh man, now we're at the sixth floor. Yeah, crazy. So every time you see that, or one of those scenes, your PP and stuff get all restored. So, yeah. That kind of makes up for these enemies being kind of... Um... Kind of tough to fight. Ooh. I was a little worried that this would be a monster house for a moment, because it just seemed like there was so much in the way of items. Usually that's an indicator that, uh-oh, there's a monster house. Um, let's see. I guess I'll get rid of a plain seed. Here, Broham. <laughs> there's no effect in particular. Oh, darn it. I wanted the sleepy one. Not that it really matters, but whatever. Oh, Volcarona! Wow, that thing hits hard. Just right off the bat, too. Although, I think the bug V-wheel is in effect. Oh, joy. Should probably have spun that V-wheel, huh? Whoa, 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 whoa! Good job, Broham! Oh, these crustal! Ow! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stop it right there. Oh, man. Okay, here's another enemy to find. Simipur, which, uh, actually isn't that bad compared to everyone else. Just kind of, you know, does stuff. It can leer you, it can lick you, it can scald you, I think. Scalding could be kind of annoying, but it's not usually that bad. Oh, look at that thing. Cover band? Do I need a cover band? Well, I don't really need it. I guess I'll get rid of this pet. Mm, I don't know what to get rid of. I'll just use a max elixir. I got so many of them. <laughs> Whoa, big room, but no door. Oh man, look at that crustal over there. Yeah, that's right. Keep going that way. I don't want to see your face. Seventh floor. I wonder what's going on in the Western Spire. <laughs> Whoa! Don't blow fire on that candle, Broham. You can blow fire on this one. That's cool. Oh, these big open rooms make me so nervous. It's like Pokemon just love to pop out of them and just attack you all at once. Ooh, money. But, otherwise, it's a dead end. Oh, Watchhog, these things are kind of 
They're kind of bad, too. Hold on, this sleep seed is actually fairly helpful compared to this Chesto Berry. Yeah, they can... I think they can use, like, hypnosis and stuff. Sharpen? Okay, buddy, whatever. Right on, Tusks. Okay, um... Let's see, they also... If they have the Illuminate ability, then every time it says they blinked, an enemy appears somewhere in the dungeon. Nah, cool. You know what, I'm gonna use this Dragon Dance right now. Oops, sorry, I don't mean to leave you behind, bro. What the... Oh, no! Okay, that is the worst when you get hit with Memento. I mean, my attacks are gonna do basically nothing right now. If you can find one of these, you pretty much need to find one of these. I'm just going to show you really quick how bad it gets. Um, let's just wait until something comes over here. Here we go. Okay, so, just to show you, watch how weak Dual Chop gets. Oh, that's pretty weak. I guess it wasn't quite as bad as I thought, but that coupled with other stat lowering moves, it just gets really bad. Hey! Oh my goodness, stop it. Yeah, you really don't want to have to deal with that. If you can't find a wonder tile, ugh. I feel sorry for you then. Turn it. Okay, I'm gonna go back there because I keep having my stats lowered. And my hit points are a little on the. Oh my goodness! Come on! It's so frustrating. I think they seriously try to figure out what the most frustrating Pokemon they can put in every single dungeon is, and then just put it in there. Like, en masse. It's just insane. Oh, here we go. Alright, so, after the 8th floor, you will run into a little, a little checkpoint here. Because, you know, you just haven't had enough opportunity to heal up and stuff. But this time you can put some of your items away. Now at this point, restocking on stuff like, uh, oh, you know, Oran Berries, Reviver Seeds, all that fun stuff. That's a good idea to do. So, I'm going to just clear a little bit of room, put away some of my stuff, and I'm going to withdraw some of my Reviver Seeds here. Yeah, let's take two of those. I have a feeling things are going to get nasty coming up. Hopefully all these Reviver Seeds make it that far, too. Anyway, I know I'm not fully through the dungeon just yet, but I have a feeling things are going to get rough, so I'm going to leave it right here. How's that sound? Yeah, sorry about that, Broham. We've come pretty far, haven't we? I feel like we're nearly through now. Let's be extra careful from here on out. Yeah, let's. Alright, so I will see you in the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity Adventure. See you next time, Worriers. And I did say Worriers, as in people who worry, not Warriors. <laughs> see ya.